Hi everyone, Matsumo here from the Blue Roof team. Today what we're going to discuss in the YouTube video is how to use Zoho Social, how to set it up, how to use it to grow your following, and how to interact with clients. It's a really exciting app. Zoho's put a lot of time and effort into it lately, and we get a lot of questions about it. And so I thought I'd put together this video. As always, please like, comment, and subscribe. And I'd love to see you in our office hours. Uh, so you can come meet me, you can ask me questions about Zoho Social or any other Zoho app, and I'd be happy to answer them. Enjoy the video. All right, so let's get into this. So I'm inside of Zoho Social here, and as you can see, there's a bunch of stuff on your page. If you're first logging into Zoho Social for the first time and you haven't set anything up, you'll have a pop-up on your screen that actually asks you to connect to social media channels. So you can connect to all of these channels here. You can see Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, Instagram, Google Pages, and YouTube. And Zoho is going to continue to come out with more. They're heavily invested in this application. And so it'll walk you through the integration steps. It's pretty straightforward. Like for Facebook, it'll ask you to log in with an account and then choose the Facebook page. Same with LinkedIn, same with Twitter. So it's a pretty standard process. Once you have your channels integrated, it'll start pulling data as it does here. And so you won't start seeing the arrows and the growth and the decrease until you've been using this for a little bit and it can start tracking kind of the delta between month A and month B, but you'll start seeing data populate here, which is great. So to go over the homepage a little bit, brand health, these are just some stats they give you for all the channels that are consistent across them. So you obviously want your posts to be high or as high as you uh, should have them for uh, uh, kind of optimization. The reach is how many people it's hitting and you can hover over any of these question marks and it'll kind of tell you in more detail. You can see here, technically, there's more channels you can add, so Pinterest and a Facebook group you can actually add here. Then further, it'll just kind of show some of your recent posts and how people are interacting with them, right? And so it, this is just kind of a snapshot like most home pages are. So the next neat part and probably the most popular part of the software is here under posts. So posts allow you to post on different channels. And the neat thing with this software is, for example, if I were to hit new post, just go through this. This is how to edit an image. They have a new image editor within the tool. But you can see here along the top, it shows all the channels you can post to. And you can click them to unselect them, which will not post to them. So the idea here is you can write one post and you can see here, you can start typing it. So this is a post. Um, you can also, if I move this here, you can add images. You can kind of comment. You can add all kinds of buttons, there's YouTube options, certain hashtag groups and emojis. So you can really make this post personalized. And like I said, when you make this post, you can actually choose what channels this goes out on. And so it can all send at once. And so that's probably the next really neat part of this tool is you can publish it now. You can schedule it for a specific date and time and time zone. You can tell it to repeat if you'd like. So if you want this post to go out two or three times before an event, for example, you could add it to the queue here and you could see it, it can kind of put it in unique time slots for you, or you can choose a smart queue. And so this kind of looks at, you won't have this option until you've posted a number of times, but it'll start tracking when people are interacting with your, your posts and it'll actually send it at that time. And so it needs a bit of data to build that up, but it's a really neat feature and I'd encourage you to use it because obviously it'll increase the likelihood of people interacting with you. So this is the publishing or the posting area of the system. And there's some other neat things you can do in here. So number one, you can, uh, you can make them as drafts and then you can collaborate with each other on the drafts. So you can see here, here's one that I could actually discuss. And so I click this and you could actually discuss this post internally to kind of give some feedback. And so that's a really interesting piece of this software where you can actually communicate back and forth with your team. You can actually check all of the old posts on all of the channels just by clicking here. So this is the posting section. The next section is messages. So as people message you, I'm not actually going to click it. There will be real messages there. But basically when people message you, it'll actually show the message content. Actually, I will click it. Uh, it'll show the message content and you can actually keep you can message this person back. And if you're using Zoho CRM, you can actually send this person into your CRM as a new lead. So it, it's a really neat feature. And so this only works for certain channels, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. But you can create kind of an all-in-one place to interact with your clients. Monitor is a very powerful tool. 
And so what Monitor allows you to do is to create, uh, as Zoho calls them, columns, and you can track certain keywords in certain industries. So if I were to hit add new column, you could actually, for example, LinkedIn or Instagram or uh, Twitter or Facebook, you see here, you can do certain things. So for example, I'll go to Twitter or Instagram, and maybe I'll say CRM. So anything with the hashtag CRM in it, and you'll see it'll pop up here. So this might not be the best hashtag, but you could see here, now it'll start showing all that data. And when you save it, it'll start showing everything in this column. So this is live, right? Anything that had insurance tech in it is live coming in here. And so again, you can send it to your CRM. You can comment and interact with it. So this becomes really interesting where you can start tracking relevant stuff to your business and you can interact with it. So it kind of puts everything in one spot for you. Reviews, same thing. When people review your page, you can interact with them instantly and thank them or do whatever. And, and same with likes and comments on, on YouTube. So this is a, a part of the system I would really encourage you to use. Uh, it allows you to grow your following and interact with people instead of popping open Instagram and then popping open Facebook. It can be kind of exhausting. Having it all in one place is best. Connections, similarly, it'll show all of the connections that have added you or been engaged with you and you can interact back with them. The Collaborate page is a really interesting one where you can actually communicate to your team, kind of make generalized posts or just make it like general news, or you can make a post that people can collaborate on. And so this is just kind of like a messaging board and you can toggle, like for example, if someone made a draft post and shared it, you could see it here and you could comment back at them or messages, they could share it and you could comment back to them and stuff like that. So this is internal only, it doesn't go to the client and it's a great way to, especially if you're remote, uh, work with your team. Lastly, there's a report page. I'm not gonna go into too much detail on this. It's very, uh, it's pretty much self-explanatory. You can't customize any of this. Zoho gives you a bunch out of box. So you can see here some summary per channel, audience per channel, posting engagement, when they're engaging, how often, and kind of performance, right? And so all of this, not only can you view like this, but you can also email it to yourself, schedule a report to hit your inbox once a week, once a day, or you can just export it to PDF and put it in a slide deck or something like this. So this just basically allows you to report on what you're doing. The last part I'll just touch on, uh, and maybe I'll make a separate video on this, and I believe we already have one that kind of uh, talks about this a little bit, is lead form. So technically you can advertise on Facebook or LinkedIn. And when people click your form, they can actually fill out data, first name, last name, email, and actually come into your Zoho social. But even further, you can integrate this to come into your CRM. We have a separate video on this. We'll have the link below on how to do it. Uh, but this is a powerful feature, especially if you're doing paid advertising on any of these channels. And so that's a general overview of Zoho Social. I would say if you're just getting your feet wet with this and trying to find a platform that's all in one, use the posts and the monitor and the messages heavily and mostly the posts and the monitor. Queue up posts, maybe have a Monday or whatever where you queue up the next week worth of posts and then monitor certain hashtags and keywords to start interacting with people. If you use those two things in Zoho Social, you'll be flying with new likes and new comments and new subscribes. As always, please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'd love to see you in my office hours. Thanks.